The former president's body is lying in state at the Capitol Rotunda, where dignitaries and ordinary people can stop by to pay their respect. Former President George W. Bush, with wife Laura, accompanied his father on his last trip to Washington. His other children and family members also attended the arrival ceremony at the Capitol on Monday afternoon. Bush's former closest aide and Secretary of State James Baker, former Vice President Dick Cheney, and former Secretary of State Colin Powell joined members of Congress to honor the Republican president. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell praised decades of Bush's steady service to the country. Decorated aviator, congressman, ambassador to, to the United Nations, envoy to China, CIA director, eight years as vice president, and our commander in chief. Through the Cold War and the Soviet Union's collapse, he kept us on course. When the rule of law needed defending in the Persian Gulf, he kept us on course. With his even temperament and hard won, hard won expertise. Outgoing Speaker of the House Paul Ryan also remarked on Bush's gentlemanly demeanor. Throughout his life of service, President Bush personified grace. His character, his character was second to none. He reached the heights of power with uncommon humility. He made monumental contributions to freedom with a fundamental decency that resonates across generations. Vice President Mike Pence was the third and last to speak at the ceremony. He addressed his condolences to the grieving Bush family and conveyed condolences on behalf of President Donald Trump. Pence expressed admiration for the late president's courage and sense of duty. After the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in December of 1941, he wanted to do his part, so he enlisted in the United States Navy on his 18th birthday. On receiving his wings, he became the nation's youngest naval aviator and was sent to the South Pacific, where his story almost ended. The state funeral for President Bush will take place at the National Cathedral on Wednesday. President Trump is expected to attend. The body will then be returned to Texas for the burial Thursday at the George H. W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum near Dallas. Zlatis Sahok, VOA News, Washington.